Hey everyone, it's Jordan, and today I have Ticket to Read Round 3. In case you guys are new here, um, Ticket to Read is my TBR game, and this helps me pick what books to read each month. If you guys haven't seen the first one, I'll put in a, one of the corners here in case you guys miss it with all the rules, and etc. And so let's go through the books that I've read and in August. Before I go through the um, on the books I read in August, I'm pre-filming this a week before the month ends because I have a mini trip coming up this week and I wouldn't be able to film it closer to the end of the month. So um, yeah, that's why everything is pre-filmed. <laughs> so these are the books that I was supposed to read in, in August. I'm still in the middle of these two. I'm slowly working my way through Sherlock Holmes and I'm about halfway through um, Sorcery of Thorns. And I have these four left um, to read in a month and I'm confident that I'll be reading one of these during the last week of a month. But that would mean, yeah, I'm gonna be, this is gonna be the first video where I have have a punishment for, my, for a ticket to read. <laughs> so August was like a slumpy month for me and um, yeah that's why I didn't read a lot of um, books from my um, ticket to um, the ticket to read that picked out for me so I didn't read all of them. In addition to that last month I had a volunteer read because I only had one book left in a TBR which was um, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen. Sadly I DNF'd this after reading 130 pages and I couldn't get into the story so I'm gonna be unhauling it. <laughs> So September, it's going to be a busy month for me because um, I'm participating in two readathons. One is Becca's Book up thon which is going to last the entire month of September, which I'm happy about that. Um, combining the prompts that I got from Bookopoly with my own ticket to read game. And, and of course, I already got, I did my prompts ahead of time just so I give myself an idea of what, um, my, what ticket to read picked out for me to match with the prompts that Bookopoly thon it and I'll go through those prompts in a bit and also I'm going to be participating in Fairy Tailathon which is um, a readathon I, I'm a co-host for and I'll have an announcement video up in the corner in case you guys haven't seen it yet and um, and of course it's going to be a different readathon than the past uh, than the past rounds which I explained in my announcement video and I'm really excited about my TBR for September but since I have a Punishment. My punishment is every two books that I don't read on my TBR, I add one book. Since I'm not going to be complaining three of the books from the August TBR, I would have to do two because a half of three is um, one and a half, so I round it up to two. So this is going to be an ambitious TBR for me, and and I'm definitely going to be reducing my um um my TBR for the next month because I said my first TB um, ticket to read video that I will allow myself to. Reduce the uh, amount of books I'll be reading, and I'll w work my way up back to seven, which is the on the basic amount of books for ticket to read. I just and I said I don't want to read um, treat reading as a chore. So yeah, I'm gonna let's go through the prompts that I got from Bookopolathon. So I have them all written down here, and I also include the um, the rules that I got. I like I said, I'm the type of person that needs to know the the prompts before um, picking out pick, before picking out books, like especially when I have my own um, TBR game that I want to try to mash them up. So at the end of the video, I'll show you the books that I'll be reading for Book Obathon and then September overall. And um, of course, the first roll I got from Book Obathon, of course, the board. I'll be showing you in a picture. It's right here, and I love the board. And um, I rolled a double the first. <laughs> on the first roll and I got double one which is um, um, a two and I got community shelf and, and of course I'll show you the what I got um, I got um, what I got from there and then the second prompt that I got uh, the roll, the second roll I got is a seven which led me to light cover and I really like that the prompts have the uh, different types in that one grip which I like about the Book up -a -thon. and the next 
roll I got is a 7, which I, led me to middle grade. And then I got a roll of 4, which led me to Becca's recommendations. And then I got another roll of 7, which is um, a water on the cover. And the last one is um, another, is a roll of 9, which led me to um, a chance card. So um, for, for me, like, I'm just... Like, I know I, since I already got the prompts, I already have ideas on what books I'll be getting. But since I am my own, like I said, with my own TBR game, I want to try to fit the prompts the way, um, like the prompts that I get from my TBR game with um, Bookobolathon. And I know usually you would pick a books as you go, but since I, I have um, trouble, I just thought it would be better for me to just show you guys what the prompt and the order that I get usually from my um, Ticket to Read game and with the prompts that I got from Bookablathon, at least I wrote down the prompts that I got. So yeah, so let's get to my first draw. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I should have completed four books by the end of the month, seeing as I'm pre-filming it on the week before the, the mountains. So I found a train spots here to fill up four books and and these are the prompts I used last month so those are going in the discard pile and these are the train cards that I used for last month that's also going in the discard pile <gasps> but the first ticket rain route is ooh audiobook and the first Ticket rain card that I got here is um, audiobook, which means I get to pick an audiobook. And I found a book that will fit for um, Becca's book recommendations. And the book that I chose for that is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And I'm renting this for my library through the app that I got. And, um, and I have not read a Colleen Hoover bo book before, so I'd rather go into it blind. But I know she reads a lot of, of adult romance books, and I know that's one of Becca's favorite book of the year so far, and I thought it would be perfect for me because I um, need a, I haven't read an audiobook in a while, so I'm definitely glad that I found an audiobook for me. So that's going to be my um, prompt for um, audiobook. The next rain prompt is, ooh, a poll. And the next prompt that I got from my TBR game is a poll and I know YouTube used to ha do a poll but they don't they took it away I literally commit commit um create this prompt before they got rid of it and I was upset that they did but I created a poll on Google Docs and and since one of the prompts is um community shelf and I rolled a number generator and I got one which is <laughs> very weird and I got my list of um, prompts I know is really hard to see and the first one on my community um, shelf prompt is um, to read a fantasy and and since I've been wanting to read more books from um, book subscription boxes that I haven't gotten to yet I just thought for the poll I would have you guys pick fantasy books that I got from book subscription boxes <laughs> and the first book for the poll is um, Winter Wood by Shia Earnshaw, which is um, a book that I read um, the, um, the Wicked Deep by her, and I really enjoyed it. And this is another um, witchy book, which I'm trying to figure out what it's about, but all I know is that there's um, also witches in there, and I enjoyed The Wicked Deep um, before, and I really enjoyed it. So I have this as the first option for the poll. And the, book, the next book that I have for the poll is The Beckoning Shadow by... Catherine Blair, and this is about um, a girl who has um, powers, but she has been trying to avoid them for, for to use a, avoid using them for so many years, and um, and she's in a, a tournament, and she didn't want to use her powers, so that's all I really want to know about this book, especially when I haven't heard anybody talk about this book on BookTube, and this is like, and I really like the cover, and um, the the synopsis really grabbed my interest, so that's just the second option for the poll. And the next book that I have as an option for the poll is The Crown of Oblivion by um, Jilly 
Ashbow, I sorry if I butchered the author's name, but it's about a girl who use, can use powers to take people's memories and and a people can't remember anything and I think that's what's about but that's all I really want to know about it plus I this really intrigued me when I got this back in November of last year and I still haven't picked it up yet and and it just sounds really interesting to me and um yeah it's one another option for the poll and the last prompt I have for the poll is Thorn by Ashesar and Tisar Celani, I'm sorry if I butchered the author's name, but all I know about this book is a um, Goose Girl retelling, which is sounds really interesting to me because I never read the original fairy tale Goose Girl, and I thought I would have a fairy tale retelling in the poll, seeing as um, fairy tale thon is going to happen in September, and I thought this would be a good option for me to pick it up, even though we've said that in the announcement video that we're not going to have all the prompts will be fairy tale themed. The books don't have to be exactly fairy tale or mythology or folklore retellings. We thought it would be more fun that way, but I still would like to try to read at least a fairy tale retelling for Fairy Tale Thon. <laughs> so these are the four options for the poll, and I just, I'm not sure which one would win the vote, but I thought it would be a good option for me to catch up on the books that I got from subscription bo um, book subscription boxes. And the next reading right the good ring round is ooh graphic novel comic or manga and the last ticket ring round before I get to the um, punishment portion um, is um, graphic novel comic or manga this is and I for this I picked witchy by um, Ariel Summit um, uh, rice and this is a, um, a fantasy world where um, witches um, are determined by their powers by the length of their hair and that's all I really know about it and this prompt will fit for light color because it has light green and orange on the cover I thought it would um, fit even though like I still think um, light colors would fit more for that prompt so this would be my pick for um, that will fit for um, Book gobble a -thon. In the first train round is ooh a wild so the first train card that I got is wild which means I get to choose any book that I want and and since um blah, 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 the prompts that I got is middle grade and I picked up middle grade and that'll be my choice which is story thieves by James Riley which is about a boy who's thinks the real world is boring and he'd rather live in a um in a fantasy world and he um trying to start on his on book series with and then she meets this um, girl who's searching for her father who's a fictional character and and that's all I know about it and it sounds really cute and I really like this cover and I've been wanting to read this since I got it but I haven't picked it up yet so let's and I'm just really excited to pick this up and use this as a middle grade prompt for um, Becca's book Gobblethon. The next string card is Ooh, for fancy. So the second drink card that I got is purple, which represents fancy. And the book that I picked is Star Daughter by Shavita Eshkar. I know I butchered the author's name, and I apologize. But um, this is the group book for Fairy Telethon, I believe. I think I mentioned this in the on the announcement video. But it's about a girl who is half mortal and half star, and I, that's all I know about it. And this is based on Hindu mythology. I'm really excited about that because I've been wanting to read more mythologies lately. And I just got this from my um, Alcrate book box, which I'll put in the corner in case you haven't seen the unboxing video. And I'm just really excited to read this, and it's one of my most anticipated books for the second half of the year. The next train card is... Ooh, a classic. And the third train card I got is black, which means it's uh, represents classic. And the book that I put picked for that, which is perfect for um, one of the prompts for Bogoblethon, which is Ten Thousand Lakes Under the Sea by Jules Verne. And all I know about this book is this: um, it, it's about a man who follows Captain Nemo and his crew in the submarine, and that's all I know about it. And clearly, it has a lot of water features all over the book, and plus the end pages. Yeah, I just thought this would be perfect for Bogoblathon and um, 
yeah, this is um one of the classics I've been wanting to uh, read. And the last train card before punishment is ooh red for adult. The next train prompt I got is red, which it which is means adult. And the book that I chose for that is Message in a Bottle by Nicholas Sparks. I've been wanting to read this for a long time, and I've seen the movie, but it's about a woman who's um, found a, um, a bottle in the middle of the beach, and it has a message in it, and then clearly it was a, letter, a man writing a letter to his wife, and he wanted to search for that man and meet him, and that's all I'm going to tell you guys, and I've been wanting, and it's been one of my, uh, Nicholas Sparks is one of my favorite romance authors, and I've been wanting to read more of his books, so this is a good opportunity for me to read it. <laughs> and now the punishment round. The first ticket card for my punishment is, oh, a library book. So the first punishment prompt that I got here is a library book, and of course I already have one library book with me, which is Bonfire by Kristen Ritter, which um, it, all I know about this book is a thriller but about a detective who can control elements, and that's all I know about it. And I've heard mixed reviews about it, and um, I've been wanting to, like, I was close to main her if I wanted the book, because she was in one of the bookstores around my, in the area, but there was, an, something happened, I don't remember, and she canceled the um, book tour. But it kind of grabbed my interest. I'm not much of a thriller reader, but I just thought, like, if library book comes up, I will be reading this one, seeing as it's the only library book that I have currently. And the last card to pull out for punishment is, ooh, a wild. <laughs> and the next, and the last, um, card that I have, and the last book for this TBR, I have wild, <laughs> which is really funny to have this as my punishment card. But since the prompt I got is, um, chance I have a list of 16 um, books um, which I do have right here. Some of them are books that I'm really wanting to read and some of them that I'm just not in the mood for and not so excited about to read and um, the number um, that I got here is four and the book that that was number four on the list is The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine which is one of the books that I've had my TBR for a very long time and I just haven't gotten to it yet and I'm actually really excited about it because it's been my TBR for a long time and I've read the first chapter of it which is and this one is a Snow White retelling which um, that's all I want to know about I know the sequels um, in the series are also fairy tale retellings and um, and that's all I want to know about it and I'm just really excited about um, this book. <laughs> So I'm going to show, show you guys the pile for um, Bogobolathon, these four books, plus um, it ends um, with us, and one of these four, depending on uh, the results of the pull for my community um, shelf prompt. So these, whoa, whoa, that book dropped. So these books are going to be the books I'll be reading in September, plus on the pile of books for the poll, and it ends with us by calling Hoover. I mean, this stack is pretty big, but I'm still excited about some of the books that I'll be reading, and like I said, for the next um, month, I'll be reducing my on the amount of books to read just to work my way up back to seven, so yeah. <laughs> So that is all for um, um, this video. If you, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below the books that you're going to be in September or if you're participating in Pegasus Book Gobblethon. But let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!